July 24th. Uh, it's about 82 degrees, 1 o'clock in the afternoon here in north, beautiful northwest Wisconsin. We're going to be taking a look here at Hive 2. Uh, Hive 2, a little background, has had a failing queen since I installed it this spring. Uh, they recleaned themselves and looked like the queen was failing again. And that's about where we're at right now. We're going to dig into it and see if she's still around. Uh, she's a marked queen. Uh, and see if her production has increased or maybe they've gotten rid of her. I'm not sure, but we're going to find out. Doesn't sound like there's any bees even upstairs right now. I put these supers on hoping they would start drawing some comb because I have blank foundations, but since the hive's been struggling, they really haven't had enough time or bees to work up here. So these are pretty much empty still. Yeah. Yep, they're not even working these boxes yet. They're still trying to fill up the brood box. Nice heavy honey frame. Another really heavy frame full of nectar and honey. Another frame filling it out with honey nectar and a little bit of pollen in the middle. This side is about the same. Drone brood, some worker brood, pollen, honey. Take the same thing over here. Drone brood, pollen, and honey. Here we've got some eggs, some drone brood, some worker brood. Should find her queen here somewhere. Not full of eggs, but it's got some. And 
this side has some egg fallen drone brood so she's laying up here a little bit still not very good dot right down by my hand. Now she's going to the bottom of the frame. Not a very productive queen. We got eggs and larvae. Quite a bit on this frame though. So that's good. Here we've got uh, Drone brood, worker brood, heavy pollen frame, honey. Uh, I got a couple eggs in the cells. Uh, same thing on this side, mainly pollen. A few worker broods, we hatch and drone brood. Looks like we got a queen cell that they're working on. Doesn't appear to be anything in it. So we're going to leave them do what they do. I've uh, cleaned itself once already. The queen that's in here is actually the daughter of my first Saskatraz queen. Here we've got more drone brood. Honey on top, pollen around the middle. Just not laying it up. Very spotty laying pattern. found her queen, so we know this hive has a queen. She is laying, but barely. This is solid honey in that frame. This side, nectar in the middle, honey all around. Alright, let's uh, button this up and get into the bottom box. Bottom brew box. I'm just going to take a peek, quick peek and see if she's got any eggs down on the bottom here in the middle. Solid pollen frame. A little bit of worker brood, drone brood. Same thing here. No eggs. Drone brood. Some eggs. So she's down here a little bit. Got about half the frame full of eggs. Which is terrible. She's doing a poor job. So, do I let the tie requeen themselves? This will be the third queen then out of the same stock. Or do I get a different queen in here because this queen's genetics are just horseshit? This is her daughter, and her daughter's just as bad as as she was as far as laying and they will requeen themselves they're starting a clean cup here 
spot. Do I want to keep that genetic? Uh, probably not, huh? Got any comments, any concerns, any advice from experienced beekeepers? Would be appreciated. I'm a first time beekeeper here in Northwest Wisconsin. Uh, if you want to follow the progress of my three hives, please subscribe and uh, I'm going to try and get out a video every week as to the progress of these hives.